Hi everybody. Uh, today we're doing a review of the Temtop Indoor Thermometer Air Quality Monitor. So uh, we've been having problems with these Canadian wildfires uh, polluting the air. Uh, we've had uh, cities like New York City having the worst air quality in the world. Uh, all the smoke being uh, blown down from these fires in Canada. And this has been going on on and off for uh, almost a month now. Um, I have a air purifier, cleaner, filter here. Uh, but I've never known, you know, I turn it on, I, I've never known, well, is it actually doing anything? Is it working? How, how can you tell? Uh, so I checked into uh, air quality monitors and um, ended up getting this one. And you can get ones that monitor different things, such as... Uh, what this one does, PM 2.5, which are uh, uh, small particles, uh, and the um, there's another index, uh, PM 10, which are somewhat larger particles. Uh, it's thought that the 2.5 and under size are more important because they get down into the air sacs, the alveoli of the lungs, uh, and can exacerbate respiratory conditions like asthma, chronic bronchitis. So um, the other consideration was uh, if you get one that mul uh, monitors multiple parameters such as volatile organic compounds, formaldehyde, uh, carbon monoxide. Then you've got multiple sensors. Uh, they may need to be calibrated. Can you trust all of them? Um, so I, I, you know, given we were dealing with just the smoke from the wildfires, uh, the the indicator that seemed most relevant to that was the PM 2.5. So I ended up getting this monitor and. It's a relatively inexpensive monitor, you know, I think listing $36.99 on Amazon right now. And uh, it got, you can see there's uh, four and a half stars, or 4.7 uh, ratings. I thought, hell, like, how big can that be? So I got it. And this is what I've found so far, and it's uh, been interesting. Um, when the weather report, when you look up on the internet, the AQI, Air Quality Index, uh, I compared it uh, with what those readings were, and I assume they're using reliable instruments to measure that, with this monitor to see how it compared. And it was really right on. I mean, within a... It's, one or two percent of what the uh, weather report or you know was listing uh, you can see like right now in in the room the air quality index is 14 and uh, with a PM 2.5 of uh, 3.5 seems like the air quality index always is about four times uh, whatever the PM 2.5 number is. Um, so I, I tried different things uh, to see how this worked. I would take this from inside and take it outside and it would go right up. I mean, so it, it was um, uh, reliably um, indicating what was going on in the different areas. Um, the other thing that was interesting was uh, at a given number inside, which was significantly better air than outside, uh, when I turned this thing on, it went down much, much lower yet. So this thing actually works very well. Um, I, 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 you know, got this 
for the uh, COVID outbreak, uh, we had a little quarantine room and we wanted to um, uh, filter out as much of uh, the particles that might be carrying virus uh, as we could and uh, use that filter for that. But when the wildfire said, okay, fine, uh, the air's that bad, let's turn that on and keep the air inside uh, better. The other thing that I did was I got uh, MERV, M-E-R-V rated uh, number 13 air filters for the uh, blower on the air conditioner furnace. And those things are rated to filter out um, smoke as well as most of the other stuff. That's a very highly rated filter. Now, I never bothered with that. I thought, well, why do I need to spend all this extra money for uh, these high ratings of filters and might obstruct airflow and then the air conditioner heater won't work as well. Uh, but apparently that thing works too. And uh, so that that has uh, uh, caused, like when the uh, we were having like readings of an air, air quality index of around 150 outside, um, we were getting uh, relatively good readings inside uh, less than 50 but maybe 40 to 50 range even before turning on the um, uh, air purifier um, and then when you turn that thing on it would go way down even further so like right now the air outside is pretty good and I don't have the um, the uh, thing on in fact, why don't we do this? Uh, I, I don't, well, let me pause this and find out what the air quality is outside. So right now in Vineland, the air quality index is reported as 46. Uh, the, the PM 2.5 at 11.1. .1. So that's outside, and that's comparing to what is reading inside right now. So let's take this outside and see what we get. Okay, so we're outside now, and outside we've got an AQI of 75, which is worse than what was reported on the... Um, weather report uh, with a PM 2.5 reading of 23 and um, you know this is just walking out from you know through the sliding glass door onto the deck so outside I'm getting a 74 AQI and inside uh, I think it was something like 14 um, so, now I, I think, you know, each indoor environment may be different. You know, if you have smokers in the house, you're using a wood-burning stove or fireplace or something that's, uh, you know, you're cooking or whatever and generating smoke inside. It's possible that your air quality inside could be worse than outside. Uh, but... Um, uh, anyway, this is a way, at least simple way, to actually know what the heck's happening. Uh, to know, uh, you know, is your indoor environment okay? Is the air cl cl clean there? Uh, do you need to use an air uh, purifier? If you are using an air pur purifier, what is it doing? Is it actually helping? How much? Uh, so this is a way to actually know. And if the air inside is actually very good, then um, maybe you don't need to run the air purifier inside at that point. Uh, and also, uh, if you have problems with your indoor air quality, maybe you should be getting a, a better filter, like a MERV 13 or uh, better for your, uh, the blower for your air conditioner or furnace. So again, here's the outdoor thing. It's, settling down a little bit, 68. Again, we 
the weather report reported something like uh, I think 48 or thereabouts um, and um, there you go so how long this is going to last I don't know uh, I think these sensors are only good for about uh, I don't know uh, three years or so and then you probably have to toss the unit and replace it but it didn't cost that much it was uh, like what 40 36 bucks uh, and uh, you know when's the next time we're gonna have some significant air pollution event <laughs> with my luck it won't be for the next 20 30 years it's kind of reminds me of when we had this horrible power outage for a week and I bought a generator and we haven't had a severe power outage uh, since then but uh, in any case, uh, I hope you found this review helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.